Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm doing something a little different. I'm testing out Mobile Trans and their WhatsApp transfer tool to see how it works when you're switching between devices. So we're just totally upfront. These are demo phones. I've got my old iPhone 6 here and a newer Android device on the other side. And neither of these phones have WhatsApp installed. I'm not moving any personal data. I'm simply walking you through the process, showing you how the tool works from start to finish and giving you an honest feel for the experience. You'd be surprised how many people struggle when switching phones, especially when moving from an iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. WhatsApp doesn't make that part super easy by default either. And I get messages from people all the time asking, can I move chats? Or what about my media? Or will I lose everything else? That's where Mobile Trans comes in. It's basically a desktop app that gives you a simple step-by-step -step system to transfer all that WhatsApp account, content, messages, photo, video, documents over to your new phone without having to deal with all the confusing manual steps. So let me show you what it looks like with the actual devices connected. On my computer here, I've already downloaded and opened Mobile Trans. When you launch it, the interface is super clean. You'll see different categories of transferring data, backing up your phone, restoring from backups, and then a dedicated section specifically for WhatsApp transfers. That's the one we're looking at today. Even though these demo phones don't have WhatsApp installed, the software still lets me walk through the entire process, which is great because you can see exactly how everything works before actually doing it in your real devices. All right, so let's plug in the phones. I've got an iPhone 6 plugged into the left USB port and the Android connected to the right. The moment I plug them into Mobile Trans, automatically detects both devices. You'll see them appear on the screen here at the source on the left and destination on the right. Now, normally if WhatsApp were installed on these devices, you'd see the software detecting the app data. Conversations, backups, media folders, all of that would populate right here. But again, since these are clean demo phones with no WhatsApp at all, what you're seeing is just a structure of the workflow. The phone's connected, the software recognizes them, and it sets up the transfer plan. So the next step of the software gives you the preview of what would be transferred. This is where you normally see things like chat history, photos, videos, voice notes, documents. app settings. If I had WhatsApp installed, this area would show a breakdown of all the data it's about to move. In a real scenario, you simply hit start and follow the prompts. Mobile Trans usually ask you to disable find my iPhone or confirm a backtop or log into the Android side. Simply things you do it anyway. Even without WhatsApp installed, you can see the guided steps pop up. The software basically tells you this is what we would do next. Here's the device we're writing to. Here's how long this step usually takes. It's a really structured walkthrough, and that's honestly what surprised me the most. It feels like the software is holding your hand through the entire process. So again, just to repeat, nothing is being transferred here. The phones are blank. There's no WhatsApp on either of them. I'm showing you this as a demo of how Mobile Trans operates, not as a live WhatsApp migration. But the point of this still comes across. It recognizes the phones immediately. The interface lays out exactly what will happen and the transfer process is clearly explained step by step. After walking through all of this, I could see why people are using mobile trans for switching phones. It's simple, it doesn't overwhelm you with confusing messages and it works with older devices like this iPhone 6, which honestly surprised me because this thing is ancient. If you're switching from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone and want a clear, easy way to move your WhatsApp data, this gives you a really predictable process. Even with the demo phones and no WhatsApp installed, you can see exactly how smooth this workflow is. All right, so that's my full walkthrough using Mobile Trans with an iPhone 6, a newer Android, and no installed apps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Before I wrap this up, I just wanna show you one more thing. Here's a full list of features inside Mobile Trans. When you open the app, you just don't get WhatsApp transfer. There are modules for phone transfer, backup and restore, file and photo transfer, and more. Basically, everything you'd want when switching phones or backing up data. You can move contacts, 
photos, videos, messages, files, even iCloud data if you're switching from iPhone to Android. And it supports transfers between phones, phone to computer, or vice versa, giving you flexibility depending on what you need. The layout is clean and intuitive. Each tool is clearly labeled and easy to select. So even if you're not doing a WhatsApp migration, Mobile Trans works as a full phone management hub.